what's up guys welcome back to chilling with Scylla and uh, thanks so much for stopping by I really appreciate it today I just wanted to take a moment to send some love and appreciation to those youtubers who actually inspired me to start my own channel but also to start this channel and share my passion with other people in hopes of inspiring or just sparking some type of interest in following your dreams. It's really important for us as human beings, not only to recognize those that have helped us along the way, but um, to let them know that they've done something in our lives that has been life-changing or that has had an impact. And I really think that it comes down to sharing with other people, um, you know, the, the values that they put out there in their videos. Um, I think it's important for us as human beings to be able to recognize those that have helped us along the way as well. Um, whatever you do, you always have an impact on somebody else's life. And I felt today it was important for me to recognize those, whether they're big or small YouTubers, um, just some of the things that they've done to inspire me um, and why. So let's jump into it. Here's our number one, Lily Singh. So Lily Singh is a comedian. She is Canadian and she does some uh, vlogging as well. Um, the reason I started watching Lily Singh was because my husband actually told me about her and said, you know, you'd probably like some of her content, check her out. But one thing I really love about Lily Singh is she always keeps it real no matter what. She's very relatable, uh, very funny. Uh, a lot of her content, I'm literally laughing out loud. Um, I love that you feel like you're right there with her when she's either doing her skits or she's just vlogging. Um, a lot of the inspiration that I got to start my channel came from her book, How To Be A Boss. All these quotes that are right behind me here on the wall, I've ripped out of her book just to sort of give me a reminder on a daily basis of uh, who I want to be and where I want to go and to never give up on my dreams. Um, she struggled a little bit uh, with depression in her early years and uh, sort of used YouTube as a release on how to get her feelings out and how to work through them. So I really admired that fact about her and just watching her come up from where she has uh, started a long time ago, I think has uh, really inspired me to make sure that I'm sharing as many things that I love and that I'm passionate about with the rest of the world as well. Number two, Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon is also a Canadian photographer vlogger. I started watching Peter McKinnon probably a week ago. So <laughs> it's not like I've been watching him for a long time. Uh, I actually don't really have a huge interest in filmmaking or photography, but his content is very relatable. So one of the things that actually caught me uh, watching his videos was coffee. He's really into coffee and I love coffee. I have to have my coffee in the morning uh, or else I pretty much don't function. Uh, one of the things that inspired me from Peter McKinnon is not only that he's Canadian and made it, but also that um, he does a lot of vlogging or even just in some of his tutorials, he always reminds his viewers to keep going and following their dreams. So I really love that about him. He reminds us that no matter how small we are, no matter what your dream is, just get started, just do it. And I really love that message that he sends out to uh, all his viewers. So Peter McKinnon, check him out. Uh, number three, number three is another Canadian, Sunny Leonarduzzi. Uh, Sunny Leonarduzzi really caught my attention because of how clear spoken she was and also because uh, she's Canadian and the content that she provides. So I'm able to, one thing I love about Sunny is that I'm able to apply a lot of the information that she provides in her videos, not only to my content or to what I'm trying to create, but also to my daily life. So I really like that I'm able to pull different aspects from her, uh, from her information and apply it to so many different aspects in my life, not just in my creative life, but in my overall. So uh, check her out as well, Sunny Leonard Uzi. Number four is What's Up Woods. They're a family vlogger channel. She was having some problems trying to conceive and then finally it happened after such a long time. What's Up Woods channel was actually one of the first channels on YouTube that I started getting hooked to and started watching. So they take you sort of along their journey, day-to-day -day life. But the thing I love about them the most is that 
they're just your typical family. They invite you into their lives and they're always doing uh, fun different things. Uh, they do have two golden doodles as well. So that kind of captivated me a little bit to keep watching. Um, as you guys know, I love dogs. I have two golden retrievers. So uh, anyway, that's why I kind of, uh, I followed them. But the thing is that inspired me uh, with What's Up Woods is that she just never gave up on her dreams. Um, so that's one thing that kept me captivated to keep watching. And uh, I really love their channel. I hope you guys check them out. Number five is video influencers. So video influencers I came across after I started my YouTube channel. And the reason I love watching them is because they're always giving information and tutorials and reviews for YouTubers that are just starting out. And I love that I'm able to take a lot of the information that they're providing and apply it not only to my content and creativity, but to other aspects of my life as well. So video influencers, check them out. Very inspiring to watch. Number six is T Martin 2. I got hooked on watching this channel because of their Golden Retriever Super Cooper. So they have this thing, Super Cooper Sunday. And uh, Super Cooper is this Golden Retriever. He, they have another dog, Coda, who's a great Pyrenees but it's basically like a dog vlog. And me being a dog lover, of course, how could I not watch them? So uh, they're actually another one inspired me to sort of do some DIY dog things incorporated in my channel as well. Um, I continue to watch them, whether it's new episodes or old episodes. So I encourage anybody who loves dogs or just wants to have a little bit of fun watching a daily life blogger uh, to check out T Martin 2 and Super Cooper Sundays, real fun to watch. Uh, number seven is Sea Kid. Sea Kid, I actually just stumbled upon his videos uh, randomly, just watching uh, YouTubers for inspiration. And Sea uh, Kid, I really love because he does tech reviews, but also he raps. So he's found a really cool way of finding uh, a cool niche in a topic that is so broad and that so many other people are doing. Uh, if you have a chance, check out his channel, Sea Kid, and I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun watching him. Uh, really inspirational to me because he's been able to do something that's sort of outside of the box in a huge category, which was completely awesome. So I'm a subscriber for life with this guy, and uh, I always look forward to seeing his new content. Number eight, Drew Lynch. I love Drew Lynch. I came across his channel randomly uh, one day. Drew Lynch is a comedian, but he also has a stutter and he has a service dog named Stella. Drew Lynch is probably one of my favorite YouTubers. I really love watching him and Stella on their adventures, uh, different people that he might have on his channel, uh, all the captions that Stella has over her head uh, in regards to talking back to Drew. Just a great channel, very entertaining. I love that he's been able to uh, take something in his life that may be perceived as a problem or a disability and uh, turned it into something so relatable to everybody else. Uh, I love watching his channel and I encourage you to check it out too. Uh, number nine, Jevin Dovey. Jevin Dovey is a filmmaker. He does tutorials and vlogs, um, but I love Jevin Dovey because he's always getting out there, you know, into the world, doing his own vlogging uh, in regards to doing tutorials for other people who are looking at uh, either starting a filmmaking channel or that are in the industry or have a passion for that. Um, he keeps it very real and I love watching his channel because he'll venture off into conversations that are very relatable to people who are just starting out. Uh, new content creators, uh, different creatives, doesn't matter what field you're in or what your passion is. A lot of what he says is very relatable to you just as a person. Uh, he's very engaging, very captivating. So check his channel out too. He's been a big inspiration to me. Um, last but not least is Next Level Tech. I will definitely put him as my number one. And the reason why is he's my husband. Next Level Tech does Android Box reviews and he also does IPTV reviews. Um, the reason I would put him at the top of my list is because he was the one who really encouraged me to start my YouTube channel. And I'm really happy that he did. One thing that inspired me um, above all else 
was that when he was, when I watch him do his YouTube channel, uh, whether it's recording a video, editing, or even just doing super chat lives with some of his other buddies that are on YouTube, the thing that captivated me the most is that not only was he engaging with his community, but he was providing information to uh, that Android Box community, IPTV community that nobody else was providing. Um, the other thing that really inspired me was that you could see how passionate he was about this topic, whether it was chatting with other people that are YouTubers around this subject, or if he was just doing, um, you know, videos or uh, you know, there's just the passion that goes into it. And I think that that's something that we all have to remember is that if you want to start a YouTube channel or if you want to do anything in life, let's just say, uh, make sure that the passion is there. I really think it's important that if there's something that you love, that you follow your dreams. And YouTube is a huge platform to be able to do that. But I think that by us taking the chance and sharing our passion, our creativity, our artistic abilities, um, our information, our opinions with other people um, is really what's important. So I, uh, I really appreciate and want to show love and appreciation to those YouTubers who've helped me along the way, who've inspired me to get started. Um, I think it's really important that we recognize each other, um, not only as a YouTube community, but as human beings. So that's it for my top 10 guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it sparks some interest, some inspiration, some creativity, some passion. I hope you guys get out there and share those things with other people, whether it's through YouTube or other ways that you're able to do that. And um, look out for my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, and we'll see you next time. Peace.